Hi guys, uh, another quick video. Uh, I will do the grab tank, but I've got I've been doing a few Valdors. So I had a few people ask me what colours I use for Valdors base. So Valdors base, it's all I've magnetised this at the minute. So as you can see, clips together. <coughs> so what we're going to do? I'm going to show you how I painted this. The colours we're going to use is Modeler flat brown, USA flat brown, gamer khaki, gamer no, modeler mahogany, forge old typhon ash and P3 menoth white highlight. Uh, so what we're going to do first, we're going to give this, move these back a bit, oh everything's falling over, wounded. Right. So first of all we're going to use this one, so just going to see my airbrush. I've gone, and, I've gone and primed primed this grey, then I hit it from the top with a bit of black, just give it a bit of colour variation as we uh, airbrush over the top. So, this first colour, we're going to do like a general painting of it. So, the back's flat, so it's, at the moment it's black, but here we go. So, through the camera we go. general you don't have to fully meet with this you just want to give it a, a base tone really just starting off the colour so as you can see that's our first colour so what we're going to do I put two drops of the uh, flat browning so we're going to put a bit of khaki into the mix as your first highlight so probably 50 50 two drops of this <coughs> excuse me i've got a cough give it a mix in the old gurgler so now this is when we start picking out places where we want brighter so top of here so you've got top of here, top of here, top of each of these ridges, these flat panels. But you want to be, you want to try and get it random, really. So like this. Don't forget, there's an underneath of this as well. That bit. So what we're going to do, we're going to clean the airbrush and then we're going to just going to use khaki on its own, the neck colour. So what you're doing is, you're sort of layering it, so you want to try and leave a bit of some of the colour in random spots. So each colour, as you go up in things, as you go up in stages. So on here we're going to hit these spots again but try and leave some of the colour underneath as well so like these angles I'll, I'll hit this spot here where the joints are like this in each corner here on top So it is getting brighter each time. 
So, <coughs> what we're going to do now is add a bit of 50 50 again, a bit of this typhus ash into the khaki. Give it a mix. This one's wants to be random again, so as you can see, we're getting bright dropping top color tones. So we're getting brighter again. So now what we want to do, we want to clean the airbrush out. I'm going to use mahogany to give you some shadows and random colour spots. Right. So mahogany. I'll put that back over there. <coughs> Bit of shake. Not a lot of this left, but we'll see. You don't need a lot of this. So, not mahogany in my cup. So what you want to do with this, you want to put it in shadow spots and in random, I don't know, what would you call it? Spots where it's a bit of interest, I suppose. So, so I'll say there, here, there. So you want a bit down here, a bit there. Can you see this? No. Sorry. So you want a bit there, 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 there. Top of here. In this crevice here. A bit there. So you can put a bit there as well. A bit here. And there. got a bit of colour interest in your panel or your panels so that gives you that effect so now clean our airbrush and we're gonna go typhon ash Type of ash in your airbrush, here we go. So you ought to be a bit more precise with this colour now. <coughs> Excuse me, dino cold. So where these red spots might be a little bit too bright, you can ghost this over the top, so hang on a minute. Come on, stop spraying water. There we go. So you want this? You want to put this in interesting spots now. So here, in the middle of this panel. Here, as you can see. Here, bottom. So you can. Oh, it's spitting water. So. You should actually blend the mahogany in with the colour, with this colour, so it's not as pronounced. Highlight. 
Please do never shout again. Like I said, this is a really fast technique. It's just, just random layers, really. Uh, don't try and be too neat is the uh, probably the best plan. That'll do. So this you want to be really precise where you want it because these are going to be your top top highlight. So here we go. So maybe here, here. A little bit on there. Here. Now, just paint all your details, and then I give mine. Uh, I've satin coated it, and then I give it an oil, a brown oil wash, and then I went in with a darker wash to like darken some highlight and darken some spots. And that's it. After you've done this, you can just take when this, all this is dry. You can take all this off and just touch the insides up where you're missing the paint. Same way, easy enough. But that's how you get your sand stone base, quick and easy. Hope it helps guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.